How are we doing guys? This is FIFA Lords here and today I'm bringing you a video of my review of the FTSE 100 recommended BPL squad. If you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link in the description. But the basic breakdown, it's the top 100 players in FIFA 14 when it comes to scoring goals and assists. There is one difference between their squad and my squad. They use Joe Hart for, goal, for their goalkeeper, I use Petr Cech. The first centre back we're going to see is Carhill. Carhill is a bit more of a well-rounded player, still not one of my favourite players. But his partner is Vidic. Vidic is a very one-dimensional player. He's a beast in the air and he is a wall in defence. But when your opponent gets past the wall, the wall can't catch him. So I would not suggest him. This right back here, I'm not going to try and say his name. He was a bit of a surprise. He played some really good games, but he definitely was not consistent enough in the higher divisions. On the left side here, we use Leighton Baines. Leighton Baines is a really fun player to use. He's definitely in my top two uh, left backs in the BPL along with Clichy. Gerard didn't make it in the FTSE 100, but he was a part of the recommended squad. He made 102nd position, I believe. He was a really good player, very well-rounded, high, high work rate, good shot, good defense. I loved, enjoy I really enjoyed playing with him. And then we got Barkley here, another good player. Uh, sorry, another good player. No, he is not a good player. He was a real big disappointment. The only reason he's in that, he's made it in the FTSE 100 because I think people will be playing in low divisions or on offline gameplay with him. However, De Bruyne. One of the MVPs, amazing, amazing player. If you haven't used the Bruyne as a cam in your BPL squad, you need to try him out. He is one of my two favorite cams. On the left side, we have Ramirez. He's got the perfect work rate for the cam, and he played some really amazing games. But again, he wasn't consistent enough for the high divisions. Now, Sturridge, uh, the second MVP of the team, along with De Bruyne, he's an amazing player. I'm so happy he made such a high position in the FTSE 100. I would have preferred to see him in the top 10, but he didn't quite make it. He's an amazing player, though. But this striker here is number five in the world. Number freaking five in the world for goals and assists. You can see his head gets abused every day of the week. It is Andy Carroll. He did get a hat-trick in his debut and there is one advantage using Andy Carroll, which I'll get into later. I'm gonna tell you guys, I started playing in Division 1 with this team. I only played a few games and I, it was a couple of draws, but I did, um, I'll tell you how I did with this team at the end of the video. Now I'm gonna tell you one massive pro is the corners. Guys, if you get a corner with this team, every two out of three corners I freaking scored. It was so over this team was so overpowered in the air, it's not even funny. It creates a lot of rage on the corners. Another positive is it's got Sturridge and De Bruyne in there. And they're really good players. So I'm really happy they were in this they featured in the FTSE 100 squad. And the other advantage with Carroll, there's one advantage of having Carroll on your team. Anybody that sees Carroll is gonna think you're going for the wing. So the, for the first 20 minute, abuse cut-ins. You can see Carroll even can score on his foot. He's not that consistent, but he can do it. So just keep cutting in. Then after the 20 minutes is over, after like your opponent's reading your cut-ins, then start taking the wing and mixing it up. And you might be able to beat your opponent, or he, you might not. It depends what team they're using. Because there is one huge disadvantage to this team. If your opponent is using pacey strikers, they're going to rip your centre-backs apart. They're going to eat you for breakfast because... Oh, Vidic is just terrible against pacey players and I'm going to tell you right now in the high divisions the most common strikers the most common strikers you're going to see besides um, besides Ibrahimovic is Martinez, Barbo, Lewandowski, Aubameyang, Eto, Sturridge the, the pacey players because they do play well pace isn't the biggest part but it is a part so I started in division 1 I ended in division 3 which isn't good so that's why I'm building this squad it does feature FTSE 100 players. It's my FTSE 100 BPL squad that I'm going to bring a review to you guys later. Sturridge on the left side, Corny on the right side. They both made it in the top 20. So did Torres. He made it in the top 20. He had the most assists in the top 20 BPL. So he's definitely as going to be playing as a cam. I kept a few more players. I kept De Bruyne, I kept Gerrard, and I kept Baines. I think they're going to do well. I've really filled in the defensive gap because there was a massive gap in the defense and I think this team's going to do well. I'll bring a review of that later. But guys, I can't believe that after only eight videos and five days of uploads, I have reached 100 subs. Mainly thanks to Mr. Games Master 1 and also thanks to you guys for enjoying my content and sharing it with your friends and sharing it in the community. So please keep doing that. I am doing a 100k giveaway now. Same as last time, guessing I'm between 1 and 200 and only use one guess. If you guess more than one number, I'm not going to choose you. This makes it more fair for everybody else. So guys, uh, please like, subscribe and comment. You have to be a subscriber to have a chance of winning the 100k. And if you enjoyed this content, you want to see more FTSE 100 analysis and reviews, just let me know. I'll be happy to bring that to you, let you know who plays well and who doesn't. So this is FIFA Lords here. I hope you enjoy my content and please enjoy the rest of your day, guys.